hybrid console, which is like a handheld, but also like a actual legitimate non-handheld console that Nintendo <clears throat> that Nintendo is making, and it's supposed to be coming out March 2017. Now, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a small little brief history of my Nintendo, um, my past with Nintendo. Okay, so I had a Nintendo 64 way, way, way back when. I honestly could not even tell you exactly when I got it, but I, I got it, had a couple of games for it, you know, whatever. I can't remember anything too concrete over it. Um, I know I had a GameCube 2004, and I had Resident Evil 4, and I had Naruto Clash of a Ninja, I believe, or I wanted to get that. And from then on, um, the, the GameCube was a really big thing for me, especially in my house. It was something, it, it rivaled with the PS2, and it had so many games. See, now today, you have the Wii U and the Wii and the uh, PS4, Xbox One, all that. The PS4 and Xbox One, for the most part, dominate the console, um, the console generation. They both dominated together, but back then, the GameCube and the PS2, they were really neck and neck in terms of power and everything. They, they both had really, really good games. You had the Mario games, you even had a Metal Gear Solid game on there, Resident Evil. You had some really good titles, and the GameCube was a really big thing in my house, um, I absolutely loved it, the controller was so weird looking back at it now, but it, it did the job, it, it was great, I loved every single thing about the GameCube, it was awesome, and then sooner or later we got a Wii on Black Friday, and the Wii was awesome, it was also awesome, it had a lot of games, a lot of good exclusives, you had the Naruto Clash of Ninja Revolution series, you had uh, Mario Kart, you had Super Smash Brothers, you had um, the whole plethora of Mario games, you had the Zelda games, you had this one, um, I can't remember the exact name, but it, you could like, um, you can like hack your Wii, it's some kind of Zelda game where you like back into a tree and it does some weird type of shit to your console, I don't know, it, it, it's just really, really, really weird, never tried it myself, but um, yeah, the Wii, it had a whole plethora of games to play, and then the Wii U came out, and I really can't speak on it too much because I haven't given, I have not given it any real extensive time. I have one in my house, but I have never really put a large, vast amount of time into it, but, um, I just want to go ahead and throw my little, my history with the Wii out there, or, or my history with Nintendo out there for you guys, just so I can paint a clearer picture for you, because I'm not the biggest uh, gamer in terms of uh, Nintendo products, not that I have any issue with them. I had a I had a DS at some point, I believe, and I played and beat a Naruto game on there, but that was so long ago, but I do, I remember that game being really, really good, but I it's been so long since I've played, and ever since, I would say, 2000 and 10 yeah 2010 from then on I was just been on the Xbox 360 PS3 PS4 Xbox one train like that whole way like I just haven't looked back at Nintendo not because again I just have any kind of real issue with them I just lost interest in their games to be perfectly honest with you but back to the the, the uh, Nintendo switch so the Nintendo switch is supposed to be kind of like a hybrid where you can play it on the go or just play it at home and I have a couple of bullet points here that I wanted to pull up and kind of talk with you guys as we go as we go along so the console has a seven inch screen now this is really small I mean I want to say it's really really small but I feel like this would kind of rival with the Vita, although the Vita is almost, well, it's kind of dead at this point from what I know. And you have this new handheld device that I guess kind of is, is supposed to play newer games and it's supposed to bring back a lot of older games and pretty much just give them a breath of fresh air and bring them back to this new hybrid of a console. And I feel that it's... It's, it's hard to say now like the size is really cool I like you know seven inch screen that should be good enough for most people and I feel like on the go it's something that can be benefited from me personally I, I want to find any kind of real use from it because I don't play games on the go when I leave my house I the last thing that I want to think about is playing the game on the go that's just not something that appeals to me personally but I can definitely see how this can help a lot of people you know kids going to school people on a plane train bus 
whatever you need time to kill you have it seven inches though that, that should be good enough for most people um i don't really see how that could be too small or too big for a lot of people and judging by, by the way the device looks i it feel like it kind of rem it reminds me of the 3ds and at the same time i feel like it kind of accommodates big and small hands at the same time i feel like your hand won't your thumb won't be so big as to where when you try to press one button you press all the buttons by accident that's something that i may or may not have had issues with in the past all right so moving on the controllers are called joy cons now i'm gonna go ahead and read this small little bullet point they have and then we can just talk we can go from there not only have Nintendo re renamed the remotes, but they will be using them as modular prices. They can be attached to a central unit, the Joy-Con grip, which behaves as a game controller. These game Joy-Cons can be slid onto the portable tablet for a dynamic, gyroscopic experience. Additionally, the controllers can be separated and used independently, ideal for multiplayer and party play. The company will also ship the mo also ship the more traditional pro controllers for users looking for a classic game experience so now this i i don't know like I, I feel me personally i won't be really i'm not getting this i'm not it doesn't appeal to me but i can see why a lot of people would get i guess kind of hyped for something like this and why they would care to actually get it and you okay i like how they give you options for controllers that's actually really cool i feel like a problem with the console market today is the fact that they don't give many options. You see, the thing about a console is when you buy it, you have one set experience, and that set experience is what you have until the next generation or until some kind of update or whatever. There are third-party controllers, but they never work well at all. And I think for the most part, well, I know, yeah, I know for the most part that a console is just one just giant co coherent experience, and it everybody's experience is the same. You buy a PS4, you'll get a controller with the necessary cables and the console, and so will the person next to me. It's all the same. Now, with this, I like this because they give you options to do other things, and like I said before, consoles, they're all one thing, it's the same thing, and I feel like they don't give you enough options to do different things, to upgrade, to do whatever. Like I said, there are third-party controllers and things like that, but they're never really good at all compared to the original. Stuff like this is actually cool because they're giving you options, and they're not giving you shitty options. From what I can see, they're giving you relatively cool options to do different things. So, I like this idea. This is pretty cool. Let's go ahead and move on. Now, it says it uses cartridges. Now, cartridges are actually pretty cool. I feel like that was one of the cooler things about the DS and 3DS and all that. And all the other handheld um, devices that Nintendo has made. Because I feel like cartridges, while they may be small and, and kind of easy to lose, I still feel like it's... I guess maybe it's the nostalgia talking in me. I know most people probably prefer CDs or whatever to go in the back like the PSP did, but I feel like this is not bad because I just like the idea of taking it out, popping it in and playing, and then just keeping it in your system, playing it again the next day, or if you want to switch, you could just take it out. And just the, the size, I guess I'm really a big fan of the size, and it's more the nostalgia talking out of me than, I guess, me giving legitimate opinion, I guess, because I feel that... When, when you grow up, I'm not going to say I'm a super old school gamer, but I would say I'm almost somewhat old school. I feel like sometimes sticking with the roots is what's important, and I think that some things never need to be changed. And this is one of them, because it's worked for the DS, it's worked for the 3DS, it's worked for the Game Boy. Um, I don't really see how this is a problem. This is cool. I like this. Bring it back. Keep it going. It's not, it's not hurting anybody, and I think it's cool. So let's go ahead and move on. Now they say that it's powerful. Now here's the thing. Um, it says bringing high quality graphics to a portable system is always a challenge, but it looks like Nintendo have put the right brains in this bad boy according to the graphics geniuses over at Nvidia. Now here's the thing. I feel like something like this, when they say it's powerful and they're working with Nvidia, which I am a big Nvidia fanboy, I think when they say powerful, I don't think Super HD 4K 60 frames per second. I don't think I don't think it's when I hear it's powerful, I don't think that from them. What I think is something that is playable, something that looks relatively nice to look at, 
and something that just overall works and that's what I'm expecting from the Nintendo Switch is something that just works and I feel like it's gonna be something that barely gets by because I've seen earlier that um I've seen earlier that it's going to um it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to have Skyrim and NBA 2K7, and right here it says the custom platforms, APIS software, and the GPU should make for a state-of-the-art gaming experience that is both dynamic and powerful. Again, I almost feel like I just really don't buy that. I mean, I'm expecting it to look nice and for it to run games because, you know, Skyrim is a game that's, what, six years old, five years old at this point? And I feel like if you were to pop that into a Wii or a Wii U, the Wii would not be able to run that. Hypothetically, if it was a game, you know, for Wii, it would not run it. But the fact that this handheld device can run Skyrim and NBA 2K7, not that they're the most graphically intensive games, but they're games that are somewhat relevant to this day. Well, I know NBA 2K, 2K17, I said 2K7. NBA 2K17, it's, still, it's a relevant game, so it's... It, it requires some kind of power to run something like that along with Skyrim. I know with their special added effects too, it's not a game that, you know, any system could run. You know what I'm saying? It's not like a Telltale game or anything. It's it's a game that's going to require power. So, again, I'm not expecting a lot out of this in terms of power, but I do think that it it's... It can deliver on that front where it will produce, you know, games and things like that that will work out the box. And that's something, you know, that's something I've always loved about Nintendo is that when their games came out or whatever, whenever they produce games, whatever the case may be, I've never, it's never been about day one patches. It's never been about this. It's never been about that. You pop the game in, you play it. That's how games are supposed to be old school. And I love that. And I feel like today's generation and not even just this generation, last generation as well, really, really stepped back from that. We're getting all these game delays. We're getting all these day one patches that really don't fix shit. And in a lot of cases, it makes shit a whole lot worse. So in terms of power, I do think it will deliver, but I'm not done. Don't expect I wouldn't expect anything on the level of Uncharted 4 or anything on the level of The Last of Us or anything on the level of The Witcher 3 things like that so um, moving on like like I said it will be released in March 2017 but before I get into that I'm gonna read where it says um, it wouldn't be right for Nintendo to release a new console without paying respect to its all-star roster the switches teaser trailer features gameplay footage of a new three super a new 3D Super Mario, the previously announced The Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild, NBA 2K17, Skyrim The Definitive Edition, and what appear to be updated versions of beloved titles Mario Kart 8 and Splatoon, all of which apparently been brought to the new console. In addition to heritage titles, Nintendo has announced an extensive roster of third-party publishers and developers that will work with the new console. So this is cool. I. I, I would like this to actually succeed and actually go somewhere and I feel like when you have third parties looking to I guess you know produce games and you know publishers and all that that's gonna really help out and if they were to bring back older games like much older games to the Nintendo Switch that would be cool too I mean hell I would like a new Yu-Gi-Oh game. I'm pretty sure we won't get that on the Nintendo Switch, but I mean, there's always the opportunity. I know Yu-Gi-Oh has always been a really good handheld game as opposed to like a full-on console game. So I think that would work well for this. Um, but yeah, it's going to really help this out a lot when you just think of all the publishers that are trying to, I guess, you know, bring this to life even more. There are much older games that can come back, and I feel like, if anything, this is the perfect opportunity to do so. I mean, bring back some Telltale games, bring back some of the older stuff from 2012, 13, hell, even Mass Effect. I mean, there's a lot of ways this can go, and I think that if it's done right, it will do better than the Wii U, I think, or at least even, well, Probably not the Wii, because the Wii did very well from what I can remember. Probably not as well as I am thinking right now, but it did pretty it did pretty decent. And I just feel like there is definitely a market for this. And it's I feel like it's definitely going to succeed succeed if it's done right. So let me know in the comment section below what do you think about the Nintendo Switch? Do you think it will last? Do you think it will fail? All that good stuff, and I will catch you guys later. So, thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Really helps the channel grow, and I will catch you guys later. So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and as always, have a great day.